Oh my god. That's really, really, really beautiful. Interesting. Could be the end of a relationship. It could be grief as well. I love that so much. Hello, welcome to this video. My name's Dan, aka Lucid. I'm a singer, songwriter, music producer kind of guy. <laughs> and today I'm going to be reacting to Javelin by Safjan Stevens. So let's go. Okay, cool. Hello. So, Safjan Stevens, I've heard one song, I think, maybe two. There was a song on the um, Call Me By Your Name soundtrack that I liked. And there was, I think it was 4th of July, was requested on Patreon one time. Um, I really liked it. To me, it was very kind of intimate, like personal. And I feel like that's kind of going to be the vibe. We're going to have an intimate kind of experience with this new album. This one came out in October, but it kind of, I had so many new albums coming out at that point. So it kind of got left behind at that point. But I'm doing it now before I decide what my favourite albums of the year are. Caroline, stop it. Yeah, so I'm excited to get into it. You've, you guys have said it's emotional, so... Let's go. I haven't got any tissues ready. <laughs> but before we get started, if you are new to the channel, then make sure to subscribe for reactions that really dig into the artistry behind the artist. And if you want to check out all my other reactions, then make sure to head over to my channel and check out all my, my Hosier reactions, my Lana Del Rey reactions. Cool. And if you want to support me even further, you can do over on Patreon, where there's like a number of different benefits, including getting to watch this video completely uncut, unedited. So if you want to check out the full version of this video, make sure to click on the link in the description. Cool. Let's go. Pretty. Oh my God. She is literally stealing my focus. Caroline, I love ya. But stop it. <laughs> Make sure to leave your top five songs in the comment section. It seems to be something that everyone's been really enjoying recently. Yeah, and I usually get around to reading them on the Monday after I post this video. I'll go through and uh, reply to all your comments and stuff. Although I didn't do that last week, so sorry. I will have to catch up. Um, <laughs> okay, so Javelin. Obviously, it's a very abstract title. I don't think it's going to be about sports. <laughs> but there's a sense of it being thrown strong and long and thin, it going up and then down. It's going to be like highly metaphorical in that sense. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, so the first song is Goodbye Evergreen. Goodbye Evergreen. Love you. I love the quiver in his voice. That's nice. Wow, okay. Me off easy. Let me off easy. To release my scattered brain. Wow. I'll slip down through the drain to release my scattered brain. That's really cool. I'm drowning in my self defense. Punish. Wow. I got lyrics. I grow like a cancer. Jesus Christ. The poison day. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow. There's a real sense of, like, religious context to this as well. Saying goodbye to something that should be there forever as well. There's, like, you know, they're the vibes I'm getting. I adore how the way that it went from really intimate quiet into something quite distorted and big and... Dramatic. Yeah. Oof. There's so much warmth in the production too, it's really nice. Oh my god, yes! I'm obsessed. Ah. We're going through a journey, like each section of the songs felt very different. really is like this stage, this stage, this stage, this stage. Do you know what I mean? It's like, it hasn't got a typical structure. But it works because I think that the central melodies and stuff kind of have a kind of simplicity to them, I think. There's almost like a kind of childlike energy to elements of it as well. Like some of the instrument choices, like those kind of like Tim whistles and stuff, and the kind of the goodbye evergreen kind of gave me a bit of that as well. So I think that's kind of in an attempt to make something that could seem quite kind of difficult to grasp and experimental a little bit like more like relatable and a little bit more easier to kind of digest you know yeah so i like that balance that it's striking i really liked that a lot like there's so much about the production that i really liked as well uh, goodbye evergreen you know i love you but something heaven sent must burn out in the end i promised you just as you were in my dream 
Now let me off easy and I'll slip down through the drain to release my scattered brain. That actually, I love that lyric. So he's saying goodbye to something that he expected to last for longer. For to last forever. Everything heaven sent must burn out in the end. It's like everything does come to an end. Even something that is evergreen, you know. There's a real existentialism to this because it, there's a sense of like, you know, even like life doesn't last forever, even though sometimes it feels like it would and good things don't last forever. It's all those kinds of vibes, you know. Something just ain't right. I cut from the inside. I'm frightened of the end. I'm drowning in my self-defense. Now punish me. Think of me what you will. I grow like a cancer. I'm pressed out in the rain. Deliver me from the po poisoned pain. Interesting. Like it could be the end of a relationship. It could be grief as well. There is a sense of like trying to say goodbye, but like it's bringing up all these questions. That's what it's giving me. It's like, I was comfortable until this point, you know, maybe somebody's died and it's brought up all these kind of existential kind of questions. Okay, let's go on to the next song. A running, oh my God, Caroline. This is a running start. God, I love some complex finger picking. You're giving that me to, to me any day, and I'll love it. <laughs> if I imagine Ooh. myself dancing inside my t shirt as we run away, cross my arms to shield my heart. As cross my arms to shield my heart. Oh, this is in 5-4. Oh, I love it. I love 5-4. I'm such a nerd for liking 5-4. Oh, oh. oh, this is beautiful. This is wonderful. I just love how cleverly this is arranged to kind of give it like a real sweeping feel, but also to make the something that's in 5-4 feel and sound approachable. It's got such a kind of like light kind of folk tale kind of feeling to it, you know. Oh, oh I love it. This is beautiful. I love the dryness in this finger picking section that like builds out into this like thing that isn't super heavy it has dynamic to it but it's like light it's almost like a, like a nymph <laughs> or a fairy <laughs> really nice oh oh chords slay me with chords yeah oh that whatever was going on right there i like that <laughs> I love this. This is really, really, really nice. Ah, oh, oh, the chords are oh, they're fucking beautiful. Oh. oh. Oh, that's giving me chills. I love that so much. Oh my God, I just, every single part of that song, I loved like the finger picking was immaculately performed i loved the like how dry that finger pick was i love the sound of it and i love how it's in five four time signature but it doesn't feel jarring it feels beautifully lilting and like the way that it kind of like has that dunk dunk in dunk dunk in you know the way the production pushes and pulls like that and how everything is within that frame you know even when all the vocals comes it's dun 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 Ooh. you know it's everything plays together beautifully it's really lovely and then that last section it's just so subtle and really really so that kind of thing you can't put your finger on when something's played in such a kind of beautifully human way you know when it comes in at the most perfect time that just feels instinctual like that was just astonishing to me I just loved it so much every single element of it and it all works so well even though there are lots of different elements oh my God, like complex and simple at the same time, like fucking beautiful. <sighs> 
I loved it. <laughs> if I imagine myself peaceful on the fire escape, head first, my hands inside my t-shirt as we run away. So there's a childlike thing to it again. Now we have a running start. My body moves in mystic ways. I cross my arms to shield my heart as everything turns into waves. I see the light upon the lake, the silver moon, the water snake, a pair of eyes, a gentle breeze, forgotten tales, a wild beast. I know I know the time has come to ask you for a kiss. Don't go to my lovely pantomime. Receive me of my only wish. Oh. There's like a real kind of sense of like storytelling to this. It feels like a kind of children's like story, you know, putting your hands inside your T-shirt, crossing your arms over, arms over your body because you're feeling not very brave. You really want to look after him, don't you? Especially as everything turns, turns into waves. There's beautiful imagery, but also kind of slightly scary imagery at the same time, like the silver moon, but a water snake, a pair of eyes could be glaring at you, a gentle breeze, something nice. You know, there's like real kind of light and dark in those. And it, it feels like very youthful and it seems as if maybe he's like caught up in the kind of the headiness but also the fear of like maybe falling in love with someone for the first time now the time has come to ask you for a kiss like receive me of my only wish it's like almost like fulfill this thing for me you know even though it might not be realistic we've always had a running start a jump between the trampolines you throw your arms around my heart <laughs> as if to say you're all i need <laughs> the water pines the lonely drake the night beneath the light beneath the frozen lake a pair of eyes a gentle breeze forgotten tales a wild beast it's just so beautiful i love that like it's just so whimsical romantic has such a beautiful kind of childlike energy to it such an innocence to it but like the darkness in it really is like really giving that kind of the depth and the realism and the kind of threatening nature of what's going on as well like it works on lots of levels it's really really nice just absolutely beautiful one of the one of my favourite songs I've heard in a long time. I loved that so much. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Next song, this is Will Anybody Ever Love Me? <laughs> I'm already crying. What are we going to do? Jesus Christ. It's mm. away my heart and heart Find a river running to the west Where we wouldn't run There's a like innocence to the way all these things are played. It may be fast and frantic, but it still feels quite intimate, you know, especially with that piano. Watch me drift and watch me struggle, let me go. Will anybody ever love me? For good reasons, without grief. Uh. Oh my god! My burning heart. <sighs> ah, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love the chords, I love the way it's played, I love the melodies and the lyrics, god fuck me. For the heartache and the mystery that golden lay. Ah, I just so stunning. I love this. Oh my god. My burning Wow. Oh. My god, there's so many textures to this. It's so rich and full, but also like musically just like has such interesting chord movements and or phrasings and stuff it's just gorgeous gorgeously complex but gorgeously simple at the same time like fucking hell like oh my god that was just stunning and like just that central lyric to really just bring it all home amid all that complexity there's a simple simple message right at the middle and that is will anybody ever love me it's just, just like so stark and so what more is there to say you know do you know what i mean like it's that feeling chase away my heart and heartache run me over throw me over cast me out find a river running to the west wind just above the shoreline you will see a cloud tie me to a tiny wooden raft burn my body point me 
to the undertow, push me off into the void at last, wash me drift and watch me struggle, let me go, because I really want to know, won't anybody ever love me? For good reasons without grievance, not for sport, will anybody ever love me? In every season, pledge allegiance to my heart, pledge allegiance to my burning heart. I adore like the comparison between the first verse kind of having this real dramatic kind of imagery, like just kill me dead. You know, like, <laughs> it's like a, there's a feeling of surrender, you know, he's really surrendering because he's like, all he really wants to know is, any, is will anybody ever love him? And if not, like, just send him off to die. Do you know what I mean? Like, whatever, I'm past it at this point. That's the vibe it's given me. Burn my body, celebrate the afterglow, wash away the summer sins I made. It's interesting because there's a real feeling of, like, death. He's talking about that quite obviously quite starkly but it doesn't feel gruesome it doesn't feel morbid it feels whimsical still you know i love it i love it so much and it's one of those things that like you can't quite explain every reason why you might like love it but there's the feeling that it creates just from the intricacies within the lyrics and everything and the music and the production the texture and everything everything just all comes together you know it's just amazing okay this is next song this is everything that rises around to see what once was there everything that rises must converge everything that rises Just, I really love the kind of experimental folk nature of his stuff so far. It's like there's a lot of finger picked guitar, intimate, quiet vocals, but I love the way that it experiments and takes it off into a new world. It's like a really dreamlike kind of thing. But because it starts from that really intimate place, it just takes you along the journey, you know? really is such a kind of existential feeling to this. Again, a sense of being risen, taken up to heaven, everything must converge, like, it's kind of him trying to make sense of the fact that everything must kind of end, I think. You know, things aren't forever. Kind of tonal nature of the percussion almost gives it a slightly out of tune kind of like slightly discordant feeling to it oh gorgeous really love that it kind of had like a almost like spiritual feeling to it that song letting yourself kind of go and just be taken up you know yeah like sonically it feels like that it feels like you're just letting yourself be taken into the dream of it it seems to be keying into like some sounds that could be considered kind of like almost like dreamlike it's giving me shades of like you know like the beatles stuff the more experimental beatles stuff kind of like when they went out to india it's giving me a sense of like that in certain elements of the sound can you lift me up to a higher place like the salted sphere turn yourself around to see what was once there like the salted sphere must be like the earth turning i guess turn yourself around to kind of maybe learn from your past yeah i'm not sure that everything that rises must converge i wonder what that means to be like everything that rises must converge it could be like everybody that dies returns to one thing for all our individualities once we die we all just become carbon you know cast me not into hell where the demons rage turn yourself around to see what i can save 
So yeah, there's a sense of like him looking at heaven and hell there and hoping that like after he dies that he'll have some sort of rest, you know? Turn yourself away from the wickedness, I said, evil comes to play in the image of the dead. So he's trying to ignore the wickedness and the evil imagery that revol revolves around death, you know? It seems to be like throughout most of the songs so far, his relationship with death and the shortness of life. The way I'm going to try and cope with death is by reframing it into something that is not evil and not awful, but for something that is natural, you know? In the earlier songs, you know, he was talking about death and being sent off to die, but it didn't sound morbid, did it? It sounded kind of tongue in cheek. He didn't take it quite as seriously as you'd expect. And I think that's kind of where he's coming from with his like approach to looking at death, you know? Yeah, it's amazing. Let's go on to the next song. This is Genuflecting Ghost. I don't know what that means, but well, let's do it. <laughs> oh, more beautiful guitar. I adore like the complexity in the guitar, but the way it's played in a way that doesn't feel in your face. It feels still kind of like intimate. Ghost, I kiss the floor. There's a sense of like, what will be will be, things will work out, kind of. Oh, gorgeous, oh my God. His use of dynamics are really wonderful. Like he really pulls you in on those really intimate moments. It's really, uh, that, yeah, it's beautiful. such a beautiful warmth to his sound design as well That's, yeah i really liked that i love how like every sound in each song kind of combines together to create a new sound it's like obviously there are moments where you can hear specifically guitar and sometimes piano but like in terms of like the big moments it all kind of comes together and it almost sounds like a new instrument you know it's his own thing it's really amazing really enjoyed the sound of that Again, like it took me off to a kind of another plane, you know. Okay, I'm gonna have to Google what the word genuflecting means. Oh, it's a worship. Okay, lower one's body briefly by bending one knee to the ground, typically in worship or a sign of respect. Give myself as a sacrifice, genuflecting ghost, I kiss the floor. Maybe he's the ghost, you know. Rise, my love, show me paradise. Nothing seems so simple anymore. Rest assured, words come easy, insecure love and please me. Sacred word, Bind me, insult me as I pray your, praise your name. Give me a, as a sacrifice, genuflecting gifts, a kiss no more. It seems like maybe he's giving, maybe he's talking about his relationship with religion, potentially, like maybe the ghost could represent the Holy Ghost if we're talking Christianity. I think maybe he's saying earlier in his life, the idea of being as maybe part of an organised religion kind of felt simple, but as the world got more and more complex and he wasn't given a paradise, he was actually, the world is actually fucked, you know? It's like, it's not so simple for me to just like, bend down and, you know, worship this ghost, worship this thing, because actually it's far more complex than that. Dance with our catastrophe, ramparts in the sky that flash with horror. Like, I just picturing like a, like a, a like a castle in the clouds with like red, flashing lights you know really kind of amazing imagery there let's take these chances no more amnesty it's almost like he's just choosing to just go with the chaos you know and let go of this idea of simplicity and things being black and white which i think often we are told things are black and white when we're younger we are taught things are black and white and as you get older you realize that there's so much more gray area than you think um especially when it comes to kind of I think religious teachings, very interesting. And again, really seems to be playing with his own spirituality and how that links into, you know, life and death. Okay, next song, this is My Red Little Fox. I drink till it's lost, then mm. let's say what you want. There's definitely a bit of a Beatles energy, especially in the way that he sings as well. Rivers running through it all. I love the way the two voices almost sound like they're dancing around one another. Give me, like the wind. Give me, Give me 
me like a feeling of like a circular kind of motion, you know, like a dance, you know. Kiss me like the wind that flows within your veins. Kiss me with the fire of God, is that what he said? Ugh. Kiss me like the wind. Kiss me from within. Ugh. Just give me chills. <laughs> Beautiful. This is stunning. <laughs> just love all the gorgeous little details in the sound production like even that last like outro bit like had like a kind of reverse piano section that just like it was just like just a tiny little texture at the end that was it the attention to detail is stunning and it just goes to create something that is like so confidently its own thing like, each song feels like it's a world you know it's really gorgeous yeah Love it. This one's giving me like a little folk tale set in the woods type vibe. <laughs> I drink till it's lost, drinking words within that spin down Pentecost. Kiss me with the fire of gods. Jump in my red little fox, yellow paper folded off. My love, my queen, my broken dreams come save me. Kiss me like the wind. Now I sing it when you kiss me with, from within. Now I sing it when you kiss me like the wind that flows within your veins. <sighs> it's difficult to put your finger on like why some of this is just so beautiful but it just is you know <laughs> it could be a love song like to me it's giving me a sense of like meeting somebody kissing me from within understand who i am inside and out and embrace that i'm not sure what the who the red little fox is that could represent the lover um let me know what you think as always like i'd love to hear what you guys think about the meaning of the songs and your opinions on everything in the comments so let me know okay next song this is so you are tired visible when everything else was broke. There's a sense of like staying strong, weathering the storm, you know. feels like just these songs are just so easy to get completely swept away by you know God, this is so wonderful. The gorgeously smooth dynamics, like the way that like it will be big and then it will take it down really small and he'll tell you something lyrically that's devastating and then it will go right back up again. It's like wonderful. It's the detail, the at the detail. <laughs> Fuck. Beautiful. I love that. Oh just oh my god like so beautifully created and formed but like that central thing so you're tired of me you know like god isn't that just like so devastating <laughs> just this album is magnificent i love it <laughs> so you're tired of us so rest your head turning back 14 years of what i did and said it sounds like they're at the end of a long relationship which is interesting because he made it sound earlier that he'd never been loved but maybe he'd been in this relationship forever and have never actually felt like they were in love with him maybe that was the thing turning back 14 years of what i didn't said it's like they're turning back the clock on 
like their entire lives together, you know. So you are a breathing disaster. I did what I was told, but I was a man born invisible. Was it something I said or some kind of joke? So it's something like, like maybe like he was born into a body, into a personality that he felt was maybe not very confident, like maybe, and maybe he just kind of followed the status quo. He did what he was told. He had a relationship and he got into the relationship and just stayed in that relationship for a long time. You know, I was born invisible. Like, like I wasn't meant to stand out. Like that was never who I was, you know. So you were seething with laughter. Was it really all just a joke? I was a man indivisible when everything else was broke. So he was like, I was there for you the whole time. I tried to stay stable. I never did anything wrong. And yet it, you still are leaving me. So you're tired of even my kiss. I was the man still in love with you when I already knew it was done. God. So you're tired of me. So rest your head turning back all that we had in our life while I returned to death. Fucking it's like he's saying that he only lives when, you know, with this person. God, that is beautifully, beautifully written. Fucking hell. This is wonderful. <laughs> this is insane. Okay, next song. This is Javelin to Have a Hand to Hold. So this is the title track. Searching through the snow at men to throw. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Blood in the place where you stood. This almost sounds like a demo, doesn't it? It's a terrible thought to Wow. It's like maybe in that moment the javelin was thrown with an intent, you know, deathly intent. And he's like, I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to lose it. You'd thrown yourself over the rocks. Mm, shit. Again, more like deathly imagery. It's like throughout this entire thing, it's littered with death. Where are you? Uh, One note to end that on, wow, beautiful. Really dark, that one. Like it really, that one felt like he was saying like I threw a javelin at you and it missed. And I didn't mean to throw it, but I did, you know? Searching through the snow for a javelin I had not meant to throw right at you. For if it is hit, it is marked, there'd be blood in the place where you stood. So like maybe like a fight and maybe in the heat of a fight. It's a terrible thought to have and hold. It's a terrible thought to have and hold, like regret you know so here we stand in the dark my eyes traveling to the spot where you've thrown yourself over the rocks for if you'd not been so fast there'd be blood in the place where you stood so maybe it's like a regret of a fight and maybe it's the point of, of no return for these people to have and to hold that's like the marriage you know maybe this is the end of his marriage maybe he has been married you know purposely having that lyric you know to have and to hold but rather than it being like the romance of marriage and loving somebody forever it's like the thought of having almost harmed them is what he's having and holding which is very dark and very much the opposite of what that promise would have been you know like linking it back to that phrase you know to what was at the beginning of the relationship is truly heartbreaking to see how that phrase has changed context and things mean something different now they're at the end of their marriage you know that's yeah Fuck. beautiful okay next song this is shit talk another one in five four i think Deliver me from everything we've put up and everything we've lost. Ugh. Oh. Yeah, it really does feel like the end of a really long relationship. It's like I'm always going to love you, but I, I can't do this anymore. You know. this feeling of saying goodbye and letting go It's a gorgeous feeling of like push and pull in this, you know. It feels like the two kind of lyrics are kind of fighting one another in a way. Like, he's like, I don't want to fight, I don't want to break up, I still love you, but I can't do this. Warring feelings. Gorgeous, gorgeous. 
gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the kind of simple message that he will repeat and repeat and repeat that like, it's keeping an element of simplicity within the kind of complexity that really is just such a brilliant balance when it comes to songwriting for me. I love the tumbling different lyrics, like I don't want to fight you, I would always love you but I can't do this anymore. Like hold me and don't let me fall, you know. Oh, it's wonderful. It's just so beautiful. Wow. Wow. <laughs> God. Oh my God. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful piece of music. <sighs> I loved that so much. That was really, really, really beautiful. And it just like, really felt like just so like, I don't know, it's really difficult to put into words because it's like so instinctual, you know, like, and I love like how the simplicity of those kind of three sections of lyrics that just all ended up tumbling over one another. And it just felt like such a visceral sense of like, I'm so confused by what the fuck is going on with our relationship. I, I, I need to try and figure out how I actually feel. And it just comes down to the down to the central kind of point really at the end, like, I don't want to fight anymore. Like that's, I'm done with that. I like, whatever we do now, like I'm done with fighting, you know? God, it's just really wonderful. And I just adore like how everything from the the levels of the lyrics to the to the incredible sound design reinforces that feeling of all these thoughts going around in your head like like you can't pass them apart they're all just apart but it's just so beautiful and so perfect like i think there's something about like that idea i don't want to fight anymore like i am tired and that's such a simple phrase that holds so much power sometimes you come across in songwriting it feels quite rare but like you come across a phrase that is just so simple that just comes out and just has so much weight and emotion to it. Like another example for me is uh, Never Let Me Go by Florence and the Machine, where she just re repeats the word Never Let Me Go. And there's just in that sense, Never Let Me Go, there's a desperation, you know, there's a dependence, there's so much in it. There's so much emotional weight in it. And it's the same here. I don't want to fight anymore, you know. There's so much weight within that. It tells you so much in like four words, five words. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just astonishing, <laughs> beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I love that you just let that whole extended last section go right down to that one single point and then build up into this whole other thing. It just really was just so stunning. Oh my God. And it feels like the mixture between complexity and simplicity is so perfectly balanced for me. There's always something to latch onto melodically or lyrically, but there's always so, so much more depth as well like combined with that and it just is really walking that line so stunning the entire album is you know no more fighting no more talking shit do as i say not as i give up <laughs> not as i failed to live so i'm really starting to paint together this picture that maybe he's been in in this relationship for a really long time and so he's feeling like he hasn't truly lived his life and now his relationship is ending what does he have to live for that really is kind of central and maybe explains why like he's like yearning for more kind of childhood and simplicity at the beginning and uh, looking at heaven and hell and all those kinds of things earlier in the album. There's a real sense of existentialism throughout the whole album. There will be a terrible cost for all that we've left undone. Deliver me from everything I've put off. <laughs> My God. And all that we've lost. I will always love you, but I cannot live with you. No more fighting. I have nothing, nothing left to give. I have nothing but atrophy. I would always love you, but I cannot look at you. <laughs> God, hold me closely, hold me tightly, let's I fall. Like, it's like, and then it's like, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. I can't fight you. Like, I love you. Like, I need you to hold me closer, but I can't live with you. I can't even look at you anymore. Like, it's fucking devastating. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God, it's wonderful, though. It's just so wonderfully written. It's so incredible. I just really connect to that to that feeling that he's going through of just like 
I don't want to fight anymore. Not that, not that that's what I'm going through at all. <laughs> but I have felt that in the past, you know, that feeling of just like, I'd give up. Like, what more can I do? Sometimes you just need to learn to walk away, you know? Fuck. It's wonderful. Okay. Um... Uh, before we go to the final song <laughs> let me regain my composure this is a shout out to my patrons so these guys put me over on patreon all their names are coming up on the screen getting your name in the video is one of the perks you can get by joining the patreon club you can also get my videos uncut and early you can also in the upper tiers actually request what i listen to and all those videos they get posted on the patreon as bonus videos for everybody to enjoy so there's loads of bonus content as well. I'm also looking at doing some more kind of live stuff. You also get first access to all my new projects that I'm working on, including my new podcast that I've started filming. I have two episodes in the bag. Everyone on Patreon will be first to get access. There'll also be like Patreon mail-in episodes and stuff like that. So there's all sorts of fun stuff coming up. So make sure to jump on the Patreon and join in with everybody on there. The link is in the description if you would like to support me over on Patreon. Um, thanks. Okay, right, let's go on to the final song. This is There's a World. Oh, much more optimistic feeling now, feeling like maybe there's a world after this person. Yeah. There's a world you're living in, no one else has your part in the wind. Mm. There's a lot of mention of the wind, isn't there? Could be good things in the air. Mm -hmm. Could be good things in the air for me and you, yeah, like trying to find some optimism. All alone. All alone. Is it what it really seems? Mm. Take it in and blow real hard. Mm. Such a beautiful sense of light. It feels like the wind, you know, there's like a real lightness to it, you know. Mm. Yeah, I love that as a place to end the album to kind of go through like some real, real, real heavy stuff to end with something light, I think is just gorgeous. And like maybe is showing us that he has a sense of, op sense of optimism now that he's managed to kind of let go, you know? There's a world you're living in. No one else has your part. All God's children in the wind. Take it and blow real hard. Look around it. Have you found it? Walking down the avenue. See what it brings. Could be good things in the air for me and you. In the mountains, in the cities, you can see the righteous dream. Look around you, has it found you? Is that what it really seems? It's a sense of like trying to find your own path in your life. You know, everybody has the opportunity, I think he's saying, to make something, to do something, to do what they want. No one else has your part. No one else is you exactly. So do it in the way that you want to do it, you know. And I feel like this lightness in this message, maybe he's telling himself that maybe letting go of that relationship has actually freed him and allowed him to actually just follow his own path, you know? God! Wow. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's why one of the best albums I've heard all year. I thought that was absolutely incredible. Like, the balance between certain relatable moments, certain simple moments, and using those moments to kind of tie down the entire album mean that, like, everything else can go complex and it's absolutely wonderful to just get taken away, you know? Having like a simple lyric or a simple melody is enough to kind of make it accessible, but then take you along the journey. It really does think about the listener in that sense. And let me take you on a wonderful journey, you know, in sound design, in complex musical stylings, chords and textures and sounds. It's like just so much more than folk music. Like it kind of has a center of folk music because that acoustic guitar is pretty much there the whole time. And the finger picking is there the whole time that roots it and it gives it something very human something that we're used to hearing so that we can then be swept along you know that's really what it feels like i think it is incredibly poetic there's so many details and so much so much depth to all the lyrics that like he doesn't give it to you on a platter but he does guide you along the story of like him kind of feeling as if he's like totally lost you know like there are moments where he's just like literally shipped me off send me down the river, I want to die, <laughs> you know? And he's really coming to terms with real existential stuff at the beginning of the album. And you're kind of thinking, okay, is this like an existential album? And then you read, it, it almost like he reveals partway through, this is actually an album about the end of my relationship. But it's the context of like, you know, this existential stuff kind of then makes you think, okay, so the end of this relationship is bringing up all these thoughts and it's like making him really 
you know, question what it is to be alive, you know. Yeah, it's so beautifully kind of drip fed, that storyline, you know. I think my favourite song on the album is Shit Talk because it feels like this kind of magnum opus, like this way that it like goes on for eight minutes, but like in such kind of like fairly simple terms and lots of kind of repetitive phrasing, he tells you exactly where he is at in that kind of emotionally fraught, completely tired of fighting, I'm done with it all moment. It just feels like the absolute height of the album and it's just like, it brings it all together and in its kind of simplicity delivers like the most like heart-wrenching message. It's just absolutely stunning and I love, love how it goes through so many different phases. Uh, it's just uh, like a dream. Like, I love it so much. Let me know what your top five songs are in the comments. That's something that everybody's been doing. If you want to check out my reaction to Hosier's Unreal Unearth, it is here. And if you want to check out my reaction to Caroline Polachek's Desire, I Want to Turn Into You, it is here. Well, it's actually here, but the video is here. 